By far, the most difficult process when selling on Amazon always comes down to the same thing, and that's finding the right product. Time and time again, I see folks struggling or even completely at a standstill when choosing the right product to sell on Amazon. Well, what if that entire product research process was done for you and organized in a format that made choosing the right product fast and easy? Well, that's exactly what AMZ Scout has done with their seller hook report for quarter four of this year. If you're new to the channel, my name's Andre and I've teamed up with AMZ Scout over the past year and a half delivering comprehensive videos just like this one here to help elevate your Amazon business. From launching and selling three different brands on the platform to mentoring dozens of folks launch their first product, I can confidently say the number one struggle I see people face is finding the right product. In today's video, we're gonna show you a seller hook report with five different products on it, as well as some of the supporting data that really makes it worth launching these products in Amazon for this last quarter. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video because I'll show you some bonus tools we use to validate all the data as well as where you can get your own customized report to launch your first product. Quickly, before we get started, if you want a free product idea, make sure to drop a comment down below with the hashtag free product as well as whether you just started selling on Amazon or you've been selling in the past. Before we get into the report itself, it's important to know that each report is tailored specifically from your desired categories, price ranges, and the seller hook analysis of the demand and competition level to ensure the product is a good fit for you. I would say the first problem I see folks making when they're doing their product research is they're just anxious and ready to sell anything they can get their hands on rather than really taking the time to establish what may be a good fit for them and their interest. It's really important that when you start selling on Amazon, you find a product or a niche that you have a level of relevance to that you can find yourself selling for years to come. Your product will ultimately turn into a brand and within that brand, you should upsell other products that complement your first product or that are even in a relevant niche. This will give you the opportunity to bundle multiple products together or really give your customer a level of trust in your brand when they see you have a developed storefront. For example, if you're into the outdoors and hiking, start by choosing those categories that favor your interest and move from there. The price range is the next variable you should really take into consideration when launching a product on Amazon. Each seller hook report will take into account the average unit price you're looking to sell, which will heavily come into play with how much capital you'll have to start your business. Of course, the more expensive the product is, the more capital you'll need. So sometimes having a less expensive product starting out is great for those smaller budgets. Another aspect that your price range will affect is the size of your product. In most cases, the cheaper price point is associated with smaller products that will heavily impact your Amazon fulfillment fees as well as your shipping fees from the manufacturer. Once you've locked in categories and product price, the seller hook report is going to take in demand metrics like monthly sales volume and search trends, as well as some competition metrics like how many big brands are selling a similar product. Make sure you go through the report and read each section labeled why people buy it and why it's a great idea to sell as it will give you more insight into the product itself as well as the niche it falls within. Now that we know how the seller hook report is tailored specifically to your individual needs, it's time to talk about our first product on the report and that's these linen tablecloth napkins. As you can see on the report, the sellers on Amazon have an estimated monthly sales figure over 450 units and an estimated revenue of $9,000. Then once you scroll further down on the report, you'll see some more valuable information like niche history graphs, as well as the product sales and price history. Probably one of the most daunting tasks of product research itself is finding all these different products, writing them down, and then organizing all the information so that you can refer back to it at a later time. That's one of the most valuable aspects of the report is that it takes all the important data of each product and organizes it in an easy to read format. The seller hook report even takes into account the Google keyword search trends and shows you the best suited keywords within the niche. 
Lastly, for each product, the report will give you a few examples of suppliers as well as a link to their Alibaba storefront so you can reach out for a product you're interested in right from the report itself. If you've used Alibaba in the past, then you know finding a reliable supplier can honestly be pretty time consuming, but this just streamlines the process and makes reaching out to multiple suppliers at the same time easy and efficient. The second product on our list are these baby food makers. With an average monthly sales figure over 900 units, and average monthly revenue over 40,000, this product has a consistent sales through the year as well as averaging 20 units sold per day. One thing I noticed about this product is a lot of the suppliers are selling bundle kits that have these different portable containers that come as an entire kit. This is a great way to add some value to the product in an inexpensive way. If you look on the seller hook report under why it's a great idea to sell section, they actually point out the opportunity of offering the listing as a set or pack that will complement the main product. The third product on our list are these foam ball pits. One aspect of the report we haven't touched on yet is how it compares what other platforms are selling the same or similar product for. You can see from this example, the sellers on Amazon are the least expensive option, which is great to attract the highest volume of buyers. In my opinion, it's great to know what platform has the best price for shopping customers and position yourself there. The fourth product on our report are these trendy 3D puzzle kits for kids. With a low average price point and a high monthly sales volume over 1,500 monthly units sold, this is a great product that is capitalizing on a current trend within the toys and games niche. The fifth and final product on our report are these conversation starter cards. One of the reasons I like this idea is I was just with a group of friends the other day and they pulled out a really similar product. We started playing it and we had a bunch of fun. This just goes back to the beginning of the video where I touched on why it's important to get into a niche or product that you have a level of interest in. This will help you methodically develop the product from the user's perspective. Before we get into one of my favorite tools to use on the Amazon platform, I just wanted to take a moment to say if you're finding value from this video, make sure to smash that like button as all it does is help us make new videos like this in the future that will help elevate your Amazon business. Now it's time for the tool that I use every single time I wanna analyze a product on the Amazon platform, and that's the AMZ Scout Pro Extension. The Pro Extension is a plugin that works directly on the Amazon platform and lets you see key metrics about the product and the niche it falls within. Let's take the conversation starter card kit as an example. Once I type it into the search tab on Amazon and open up the Pro Extension, it's gonna show all the important metrics like results of sellers from that keyword, average monthly revenue, and average reviews. One of my favorite tools from the Pro Extension is the Niche Score. The Niche Score is based out of 10 with a higher number being an indicator that the demand and competition levels are worth selling that product. Another tool that is available on the Pro Extension is the Visibility Score. This score is based on a percentage of users who have found this product niche. The visibility score will heavily impact your competition levels really because it gives you an indication of the saturation of other sellers in that niche. I always wanna go into a niche that is new to the Amazon platform or doesn't have too many sellers in it at one time. Having a tailored report that organizes all the important information into easy to read sections really does make the entire product research process that much more easy. I can actually tell you from mentoring folks that have purchased a seller hook report that they've seen a much higher level of success from using the report than if they were gonna try and do the product research process completely completely on their own. Again, it's important that you use each section of the report as it's designed to not only help choose a successful product, but give you the foundation of what to expect when it comes to sales and capital needed. I hope this video has really motivated you through a sticking point in your product research process, or really just shown you that every single day, new products are arriving to the Amazon platform, and there's still a ton of opportunity to be successful. If you guys are interested in any of the tools we use in today's video, like the Pro Extension, I'll make sure to have a link in the description that will actually give you a free trial on the AMZ Scout tools, so you can 
get started on this process as soon as today, as well as a link to sign up for your own specific tailored seller hook report. If you guys have any questions about the different topics we covered in today's video, make sure to drop a comment down below and we'll get you going in the right direction. As always, if you guys found value to this video, make sure to smash that like button and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.